Before discussing about SR latch, let's fill out this table first. So for an OR gate, when one of the inputs is 1, my OR is going to be 1. And when both of them are 0, then my output is going to be 0. NOR is basically the opposite. So it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? So when one of the inputs is 1, the output of NOR is going to be 0. Okay? So now let's look at this diagram right here. And let's look at this case. So this case, S is 0, R is 1, okay? So when one of the inputs is 1, NOR is going to give me a 0. Now this 0 is going to be fed into this NOR gate. And when I have 0 and 0, my NOR is going to give me a 1, okay? So this is reset. Because when my R is 1, Q is reset to 0. Now let's look at the case where S is 1 and R is 0. Okay. So when S is 1, R is 0. Since this, is, this input is 1, I know my output is going to be 0. Okay. So the 0 is going to be fed back into this NOR gate. And 0 NOR with 0 is a 1. So this is called set. Because when my S variable is set to 1, my Q is set to 1. Okay. So now let's look at the case where both of them are 0. When both of them are 0, we don't know anything about the output of the gate. Okay, so there are two cases. Q previous is 0 or Q previous is 1. Okay, so now let's look at this case first. Q previous is 0. The 0 is going to be fed into here. 0 nor with 0 is 1. 0 nor with 0 is 1. Okay. Now this one is going to come here. And 0 nor with 1. Since this is a 1, my output is going to be 0. Okay. So now we see that the new Q is equal to 0. Okay. So let's look at Let's look at the case where Q previous is 1. Okay. So when Q previous is 1, Q previous is 1. Okay. This 1 is going to come here. Since there's a 1, we know that the output is 0. Okay. So this 0 is going to come back to this NOR gate. 0 NOR with 0 is 1. Right? So my new Q is 1. Okay. So now we see that Q is basically the same as Q previous. Okay? So these two are the same. So that's why we call it latch. Q is basically going to hold whatever the value of Q previous is. Okay. Now, let's look at the case where S and R are both 1. So, When S, when S and R are both 1, the output of the NOR gate is 1. The output of the NOR gate is just going to be 0 because 
as long as one of the input is one. Oh my gosh. As long as one of the input is one, then the output is going to be zero. So in this case, we see that it doesn't make sense because Q and Q0 are both zeros at the same time. So, which is why it's invalid. Okay, so now that we have this table, we can fill out the state table for the SR latch. So, basically, this table has the present state in SR, and we want to find out what the next state is. Okay, so like what we said earlier, when R is 1, S is 0, is reset. So when SR equal to 0, 1, right here, it's a reset. So reset means Q is reset to 0. So my next state is going to be 0. And when SR equal to 1, 0, it means set. So set means Q is set to 1. So Q is going to be 1 here. Okay. Now when SR equal to 0, 0, it's a latch. So it's going to hold whatever the value of the previous Q is. So my next state is just going to be the same as my present state. So this is going to be 0, this is going to be the same as my present state, which is 1. And for 1, 1 is invalid. Okay. So now that we have the state table, we can write out the excitation table. So excitation table basically has the present state and the next state, and we want to find out what the value of SR is. So present state is either 0 or 1. Next state is either 0 or 1. Now, how to fill out this table? Basically, we look at present state is 0. So we're looking at this row right here. And next state is 0. So basically, we're looking at these two values. Okay. So I'm looking at 0 and 0 for next state. Now I'm looking up the value of SR. So SR can be 0, 0, or 0, 1, okay? So 0, 0, or 0, 1. That means the value of the first position is fixed, and the second position can be either 0 or 1. So they agree on the first position, right? So which means this is 0, and for the second position, it can be either 0 or 1. So it's a don't care, okay? So now let's look at this one. Present state is 0, next state is 1. So present state is 0, we're looking at this row. Next state is 1, we're looking at this value. Now we're looking at what the value of SR is. Value of SR is just 1, 0. Okay. Now present state is 1, next state is 0. Present state is 1, so we're looking at this whole row. Next state is 0, so we're looking at this value right here. And we're looking up the value of SR, which is 0, 1. Okay. So present state is 1, next state is 1. Present state is 1, we're looking at this row. Next state is 1, we're looking at this value and this value. So for this value, SR is 0, 0. For well, this value, SR is 1, 0. So the first position can be either 0 or 1, and the second position is fixed to 0. So that means first position is a don't care, second position is a 0. So that is our state table and excitation table for SR latch. Now for JK, it's basically the exact same thing as SR, except for this case right here. So in this case, for JK, the next state is going to be toggled. So what that means is, if the present state is 0, it's going to be toggled and it's going to be the opposite of what the present state is. 
so it's going to be 1. If it's a 1, it's going to be a 0. The rest of them is just going to be the same thing as the SR flash. So I'm just going to copy that. Okay. So excitation table, the same thing. We're just, there are two cases for the next state and two cases for present state. So 0, 1, 0, 1 here. So what I'm having here is basically the value of jk. Okay. So when present state is 0, next state is 0. Present state is 0, looking at this row. Next state is 0, I'm looking at these two values. For well, these two values, jk is 0, 0, or 0, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0, or 0, 1. Okay. So that means the first position is fixed to 0, the second position can be either 0 or 1, so it's a don't care. So first position is 0, second position is don't care. Now, present state is 0, next state is 1, present state is 0, looking at this row, next state is 1, looking at these two values. So for these two values, jk is 1, 0, or 1, 1. 1, 0, or 1, 1, right? So first position is fixed to 1. Second position can be 0 or 1, so I don't care. Now present state is 1, next state is 0. Present state is 1, I'm looking at this row. Next state is 0, I'm looking at this value and this value. So for this value, jk is 0, 1. For this value, jk is 1, 1. So first position can be either 0 or 1, so it's a don't care. Second position is fixed to 1, so it's a 1. Same thing, present state is 1, looking at this row. Next state is 1, looking at this value and this value. So for this value, jk is 0, 0. For this value, jk is 1, 0. So first position is I don't care, second position is fixed to zero. So now we have the state table and excitation table for JK. And that's it.